So we've got the Gen 3 deployed and we're using the RAM ball mount. We have one ball mounted on the roof rack on the command truck. And then we, like I said, reused a uh, the metal base plate that we had for a pipe mount. Uh, the base plate design is fine. It's good and sturdy. And we have the RAM mount connected to that. We're using a piece of Cat 8 flat cable. And flat, uh, it's 20 foot, so we don't have to deal with all the extra cable. And the flat cable is uh, nice for getting in and out of the vehicle. Now we can set this up in the side where we have, we just had one of our puppies. Oh, you are a mess. Uh, just coming back from a problem. And we have the unit hooked up in the back. We're running off the inverter, which is connected to a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. And we're using the standard power. We can also use the 12 volt power supply, but in this vehicle, this really, this configuration works really well for us. Hi. Hi. Did we have Excuse a successful? Me, yeah, she came back and told me all about it. Yeah. A little muddy. Little, a just little. a bit. <laughs> she enjoyed a it. Little. Good. Uh-oh, here she comes. Got her ball. Oh, what no, a mess. No, 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 no. We're going to have to call a decon unit. Uh -huh. Oh, no. So you can see we're getting a misaligned. And according to the, the app, we need to take the bottom and push it over to the camera's left. And we'll see if that helps us get aligned a little bit better. And I don't have this super tight. Yeah, tight enough. Just loosen that just a touch. And we're going to go that way a little bit to camera left. And um, brought us a little bit closer. And you can see we're getting closer yet and that's got us in the box so that works good so we had to go a little bit to the cameras left there to get it lined up now you'll notice that view when I put this lined up with it has got a little bit of a hole I'd be better off to the right side of the vehicle a little bit more we move the vehicle to over to the right end of the parking lot but we'll see how it works with a little bit of tree no foliage so shouldn't be too bad well shazam that i did not expect 360 highest reading i've ever seen on any of the many different systems i've put online all across the country <laughs> uh that's impressive, but that's these new satellites now. That'll probably settle down to something. We're probably getting into, definitely, definitely getting into one of the newer satellites, new versions. Let me run it again. Actually, I'm going to run it. Let's run it as an advanced test and see what we're getting. So, yeah, that's settling down a little bit. We're not right on that. New satellite, we may be, it's actually dropping, so that satellite's moving away from us. And we'll end up getting into a new satellite probably on the next test. And we're getting 2021 down. And that's shooting through that tree line. There's nothing on, no vegetation. If that was in the summer, we wouldn't be seeing that good a signal. Okay, we're going to start another new advanced test and we're getting 113 118 which is pretty common for what we see um, especially when we're set up in the mobile now that dish is aligned all right and that's the advantage that using the ball mount in the mobile application it's quick and easy to get on it does take two hands um, but it allows you to get the dish aligned 
with the app and that obviously is going to give you your best bandwidth. Thank you for watching our deployment of our Starlink standard system using a RAM ball mount to support our team's K9 training in the National Recreation Area, where we have limited cellular coverage. It was a shock to see a 360 megabit download speed for the first time in two years of Starlink use. Please give us a like and subscribe to help us meet our next goal on YouTube and keep the channel growing and adding videos on Starlink search and rescue and disaster response. Press on and never give up so that others may live.